Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer and in this video, we are going to talk about this theme generator that I made for Flutter using Flutter. You can simply put your UI specific color here and a theme data will be generated according to that. Pretty simple and dope, right? You can check this out from the link in the description and if interested, let's talk about how and why I did so. If we talk about theming, then Flutter has this amazing way to apply global designs using themes. Put your color and any other styling to any particular wizard that you want and then use that wizard anywhere as it is and these themes will be applied automatically. There are a couple of issues with this theming and let's talk about them. First of all, the way Flutter handles color is not usual to what we are habitual to using, for example, hex or RGB. And although you can easily create a color out of your hex or RGB code, just putting that as in primary color won't do the job. To make sure that all the shades, shadows and outlines are applied according to your color globally, we need to put material colors in the theme as swatch. Now it's not like creating material theme is hard, but well, it's just a lot of boilerplate code. Now if we talk about coding the theme, in the home page we have a simple text field where you can enter your hex color code and click on the generate to generate the theme. As of now, I haven't added any other format, but I think it's pretty easy to convert RGB, HSL or RGB or to hex code format and then use it here. I had planned actually, but maybe in the future we can start accepting other color formats too. If we talk about the home page part, then in the first half you can preview the widgets and how they will look with your color. I'll keep updating them as I keep checking them and if you have any issue or if you want me to add any widget that I have forgot, you can let me know. And in the other half, you have option to copy your theme data and some static values too, which you can use anywhere in your code if you want to customize something any further. So yeah, that's everything that I have coded. I have planned to do this a lot earlier, but I actually coded it all just yesterday. So there will be a couple of issues which I'm going to fix eventually. And as of now, there are just as I said, couple of things that I want to do, but this should be wrapped up quickly and a stable version should be out there by the end of a week. I haven't planned anything much in this any further on. You can just put your color, generate a theme, just paste it and use it. But I think it won't kill me if I start coding a drag and drop UI builder for Flutter. Anyway, that's pretty much it from my side in this video. I'll catch up soon in the next video talking more about Flutter, coding, programming, Android, web, Django, Node.js, Express.js, Fosti, PHP, Laravel, Go, Jetpack Compose, Kotlin and well, whatnot.